Well, we know, we know that in the last couple of weeks, we, we had a lot of up and downs, and um, we think, we, you know, the coach and the players, we think we're playing, you know, uh, not in the way that we wanted to play, not in the play that we're supposed to play. So we, we struggled a little bit the last two weeks. We, we know that, and uh, we are working on it. So I think it's, uh, it's completely normal to go through up and down. And uh, you know we are aware, we are aware of that, and uh, that's why we're working day in day out to to get back to our style of play and and get even better. You know to keep building to to keep building as we were building before two weeks ago. Depends. I think everybody approaches approach it in a, in a different way. You know we have uh, very young players, we have some unexperienced player, then we have you know more experienced player and very very experienced player. So we have a mix. In the group, there is a mix of people with different experience. Everybody approaches in a different way. Everybody is still is still learning how to approach it. So, uh, yeah, it's a learning process for for some of us, including me sometimes. But really, the Euroleague game. I, I mean, at least for me, I speak for myself. Uh, I approach every Euroleague game in, in the same way. It doesn't really make a difference. Obviously, I know that Ceska is different than Zalgiris before you play, but. But then again, you can lose. You can lose against those gears too. We lost against it. So every Euroleague team, you know, you get approached in the same way. Maximum concentration. <coughs> sorry, maximum concentration, and you know that you know the game can go either way. So and then I mean, like you say, they've been playing good lately. They went off a, a rough start, so it's even more even more dangerous. Well, I mean, I see myself as a yeah an important player in this group. There are other very important players in this group, and I think you know the most important player in the team has to set an example from the other young players, so they can follow the example of the most veteran players. So yeah, absolutely, I feel part of this group of players that has to give the example to the younger players in order to establish the mentality. Yeah, me personally, I just hope you know I can I can be on the court consistently because uh, you know starting the season I was out because of the injury that I played for 20, 20 something days and then I was out again with a muscle injury even if it was a small small problem. But you know this kind of things takes you out of rhythm. It bothers me a lot. So uh, right now, I just you know I just want to be on the court consistently for you know a longer amount of time, <laughs> for a longer amount of time, possibly the rest of the season, so I can you know you can keep I can keep building on the rhythm game after game, and not um, having to stop every every two three weeks, which is really bothers me and bothers my my rhythm and game.